<clears throat> Yo, what is up, guys? Back for another video, and today we have. When do you know when to get new shoes? When do you know when to get new shoes? So, this is a question I get asked a lot, and this is a question that you guys need to think about when you're running and shoes that you've been wearing for a long time. Now, you may be you maybe have bust up shoes, ripped shoes and you want to keep running in them, but the sad truth is it's going to cause injury and you're not saving any money. If anything, you're going to be spending more money. So, here's what I would say and what steps you need to take to ensure that you're making the right decision of buying the new shoe and want to throw out that shoe so you can have this good cycle of shoes coming in that's going to make it more financially uh, better for you and also better for you physically so you're not recovering for a span of uh, months so let's get into the first step I would say you want to buy a shoe that's kind of on the expensive side so what I mean by this is that you want to get a shoe that's going to benefit you in the long run. You don't want to get a cheap shoe that's going to rip after like 50 miles. You want to get a good shoe that's going to last you for a very long time. And it's going to last less likely lead you to having an injury where you need to sit out and having a shoe that's built very well for your ankles, built very well for supporting you when you run and built well when you can run on the track without having to deal with any of that. And the shoe holds up really nice that's the shoe that you want to look for and you want to get it around a higher end price now i'm not saying that you should go out and be buying shoes that are like 300 dollars, but i would say a good price to look for good running shoes where it can last you a long time and it's very stable for you i would say around the 150 range would be a good kind of zone for that and i would say yeah you wanted to look shoe, you want to look for shoes around that area and now I'm going to get into when to throw out shoes that are a little bit rusty and a little bit um, broken. Look at this shoe. This shoe is, I had these shoes for a minute. I had these shoes for like, um, since like, since like ninth grade. Nah, that's cap. Probably like 11th, 11th grade uh, in high school. So these shoes been around for like, three years or so and they're really busted up the ends the the kind of like the sole part of the shoe is busted up and basically if like your soles are busted and, and and it's getting busted to a point where it's not like stabilizing or not making you feel comfortable when you when you run you want to throw it out as soon as possible because you don't want to be over your you, you don't want to be running in a shoe repetitively and trying to save money by running in old shoes because that's not going to save you money if anything that's going to make you way worse you're probably going to have to you're probably going to get injured you're probably going to get some type of uh problem in your leg where you're going to have to see a doctor and set out fines or set out money out of your pockets to see the doctor so you're going to be spending money on getting treated instead of spending that new money to get new shoes where you don't have to go through that long process. So you just want to make sure that when you look at your shoes, you, when you're about to go on a run and lace up your shoes and run, you want to make sure that your shoes are stable. It has a lot of cushion and you want to make sure that you can run in these feeling confident that you're not going to be led into an injury that you are going to take a long time to get back from. So yeah. I would say you have to look at the sole of the shoe, look at the condition of your shoe, and just overall feel, get the feel of like how it feels when you're running. Um, and yeah, so for different types of training, there's not just like, um, the people, runners train for different events and different purposes. So you would, you want to find a shoe that's catered for your style of running. That's why, that's what I would say. So that's something you need to take into consideration when you're getting a new shoe and also when you're training an issue. That's it, guys. Pretty short video. Just wanted to talk to you guys about when to, when to throw out a shoe, 
when it's starting to get bad and yeah and what can happen if you don't show, throw out a shoe so hope you guys liked it and yeah peace